to gain some intuition about how large the electrostatic force is between two charges, let us compare the electrostatic force between the electron and a proton in a hydrogen atom to the gravitational force between the electron and the proton in the hydrogen atom. In both cases, those forces should exist and the electron and the proton should be attracted to one another. But we must let now cons consider how big are the, the relative forces from gravity and from the electrostatic force obtained by Coulomb. The electrostatic force, which I will call F sub E, according to Coulomb, is equal to this constant K times the charge of the electron times the charge of the proton divided by the separation between them squared. Just for your reference, the separation between the electron and the proton in the atom is about an angstrom, or a tenth of a nanometer. Both the electron and the proton have the same magnitude charge. It's called E, which is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. But they have the opposite sign of charge. The electron is a negative charge, and the proton is a positive charge. The gravitational force is also related to the separation between the electron and the proton, but it is equal to minus g, which is Newton's gravitational constant, times the proton mass times the electron mass, divided by the distance between them squared. If we divide the electrostatic force by the gravitational force, the distance between these two objects squared cancels, and the minus sign will cancel, and we are left with a ratio of k electron charge squared, or E squared, divided by g times the product of the two masses, the proton mass and the electron mass. Let us now put some numbers in for this calculation. The constant k has a value of 8.99 newton meter squared per coulomb squared, and the electron charge, as I mentioned, is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, and we must square that as well. Newton's gravitational constant g is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 newton meter squared per kilogram squared, and the proton mass has a value of 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms, and the electron mass is far smaller. It is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. If we pull out our calculator, we find that the ratio of these two forces is 2.3 times 10 to the 39. It is nearly 40 orders of magnitude different. Therefore, the electrostatic force is the dominant force in the atom. It is the thing that holds the electrons in orbit around the nucleus or the protons. And it is not the gravitational force that is responsible for this binding of atoms.